Wait, you know what? I don't want to. Let's leave him alone. Because we can't feed him the chickens. Let's just watch him. Whoa, he's massive. He is. Dude, okay, so where are we? At the creek. At the creek. Welcome to the bathroom, Daddy. Catching minnows. Oh, yeah. We're going to go fishing, right? Kids, we're going to go fishing in a creek that's and nearby. Just, and and with this uh, grasshopper was like that big. It was very big, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Bigger than any of the grasshoppers on our other shows. We're going to go fishing, kids, but we're not going to go fishing to. To, with the hook and a line, we're just going to go with the net so we can observe the fish really quick and let them go again. See all those big school minnows? Oh my goodness, that is a huge school of minnows. But here, before we go down there, I want to tell you something. Look at this. See this wall right here? You know what this is called? What? It's called a retaining wall. What? And do you know what a retaining wall does? Yeah. It retains the soil so it doesn't erode because the creek runs through and as the creek runs through more and more and more the soil erodes away and when you have people's houses or bridges or stuff like this road right here in that bridge the soil will just completely wash away and, and then um, the, the, the bridge will fall down and the road will collapse so they put uh, retaining walls like this right here but guess what Axel you know what this does this look like bags of concrete yeah that's because that's what it is yeah, special bags of concrete. They just lay it down, and when the rain comes, it rains on the concrete and it makes it hard, so they don't have to pour the concrete. Really interesting. All right, let's go check out the fish. Come on. Oh, look at that dragonfly. Where? Oh, my goodness. That's a dragonfly. Look at that. Did we watch a show about dragonflies? Uh, can you try to catch them? No, no, you know, silly. I don't want to catch him because he's so fragile. Oh, yeah, look at those perch. He's so fragile. The dragonflies, kids, they've been around since before the dinosaurs. Is that crazy? They, and, and their body structure hasn't changed in that whole time, hardly. Oh, look, a crawdad. Oh, see him down there? Look at that. Man, here, I'm going to see if... Hey, kids, do you guys want to go underwater and have a look at this crawdad? Let's see if we can go underwater. Honestly. Hold on. Shh. Be very, very still. Oh, shh. Be still. I'm going to let the kids see him. See that crawdad, kids? He's right there. Does he can, look? Does he look pretty much the same the, as the crawdads that were at Crater Lake? Uh, you know, can, can you, you try to catch him water? so yeah. you can sell my pencil? I'm gonna poke their kid's head in the water so they can have a look at this crawdad. Is that cool or what, kids? That's a crawdad. We caught a bunch in Crater Lake. He's under well, that flat rock. You know what? We're not going to eat that crawdad, and if I catch him, catching crawdads is a little bit different than catching the fishes, the fish with the nets, because I might damage his body whenever I catch it, and I don't want to hurt him, and we're not going to eat him, so we don't want him to go to waste. We'll just let him alone. We're going to catch some fish, but we're not going to hurt them at all. You know why we're not going to eat the crawdad? Why? Well, because this, this, uh, this creek right here is a little bit different than the creek at Crater Lake, or the lake at Crater Lake. Do you know why? Because there's lots of contaminants in this lake. Oh. Not oh, all said, bodies of water are the but same. we just flew down from a tree. Oh, can it did, it, yeah. But can you hold my hand because I it's think slippery. the crawdad will come out and pinch me. <laughs> I don't think so. You'll be okay. Come on, kids. Let's cross the creek over here, and we're going to catch some fish, okay? Let's go. All right, kids. Come on, let me help you down. These rocks are slippery. When things are wet, they're typically slippery. You found a clam? Let me see. Come on, kids. Right there, Axel right says there. we found a clam. Let's right take there. it out. I don't think there's clams here. Oh, that's not a clam. What is that? See that? It's the top of a bottle. It's a piece of glass. There's a lot of glass around here. Look at this, kids. Axel, look at this glass. See this glass right here? Where do you think this... Yeah, look at that. That looks like treasure. <laughs> Where do you think this glass came from? Oh, yeah. Maybe when someone was driving across that bridge, they threw a bottle out their window or something, and they littered. And it ended up in this creek. That's not good, is it? Uh, let's catch them. Okay. All right, now there's some. Let's see. So, um, what you have? To, 
<laughs> I, th I think they all got scared away. Fish are really smart kids. They swim in schools a lot of the time, and they all move as a unit like this. <laughs> so oh, it's a big tire. It's a big tire. Did somebody throw their tire in here? Yeah. That wasn't good. Maybe and you know what? they just throw people the tire. No, you know why they did it? Because they didn't have somewhere to dump it. And that's not good, kids. And that's why whenever we catch the fish, we're not going to eat them because there's lots of contaminants and toxins in the water. And the fish, they eat those toxins, and we don't want to eat those fish. The easiest way to catch the fish, Bubba, is, kids, is to find a place where the water runs through a very narrow spot. And, and the fish are forced to go through that narrow spot. And when they're there, that's when we catch them. There's a minnow. There's a minnow. See yeah, those there's a bunch right there. They're swimming on the top of the water. But we would have to go way deep in there. And by the time we got in there, we wouldn't be able to move fast enough. The fish are much faster than that. Because their bodies are built to swim in the water. This is deep water right here. There's probably some larger fish in there. Mm -hmm. It's a massive ah. like that. Day. Here's a spot up here I think that would be good. Come on, let's go over here. Look, monkey brains. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, maybe we'll collect some of those as we get back. That's a fruit that falls from a tree around here, and they call it monkey brain because it looks kind of like your brain does, um, or, or, or mammals' what? brains do. But... And maybe the monkeys left their brain on that tree. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the rest of them were going crazy. Maybe, maybe <laughs> because they lost their minds. There's the right there. Yeah, it falls from a tree, and I think they called it monkey brains because it looks like uh, monkeys were in the tree and their brains fell out. That's really silly, though, right? All right, let's check it out. Let's go through here. And now that we found a narrow passage of oh, look, water. Look, a dead bee. A dead bee? Yep, that's a yellow jacket. Mm -hmm. Dead bee. Yeah, yeah see that? Now we don't want to touch it because their stingers are still able to sting you even after they're, uh, they've died. I see a few minutes. There's a little school right there. Would you would you like to try and catch them? Uh, can you catch them? You want me to try? Oh, look. Oh, there's a frog. Oh, there's can a frog right there. Can you try to get him? You want to catch a frog? Okay, we'll try to catch a frog first, okay? He's swimming. Got him. Alright. Yeah. Can you give it to me? Alright, kids. So we caught a little frog. Let's be very gentle with him because we don't want to hurt him, okay? Alright, there we go. Alright, kids. Let's show the kids. See that frog, kids? Isn't can that I cool? Can I have him? Isn't he can cool? I have him? Yes, so hold on, they'll be. You have to be very gentle, okay? Nice very time. gentle. Alright. Here you go. Here Put you go, him Mr. right Fox. in there. Okay. Right in there, okay. There we go. Be very gentle. Let's not scare him too much. See that? See how his throat goes bloop, bloop? Uh huh. And look at his eyes. I wonder what type of frog this is. Oh. Yeah. I think I smushed his foot. No, you're okay. He's, he's, he's kind of comfortable. Now, let's let him go, okay? Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> he likes to sit right there in the water like that. Let's see him swim. You know why we want to let him go? Why? Because we probably, he's, he's probably traumatized just a little bit right now. Because if someone was that big and they tried to catch you, would you be a little bit afraid? Yes, you would. So we don't want to, we don't want to scare him too much. Let's let him alone. And, and uh, that was neat being able to hold him and see him though, right? See? Now he doesn't know that we're not going to hurt him. Uh, we knew that, but he didn't know that, so he might be a little bit afraid. Nope. Mommy. But look, I found something really interesting. See this right here? Uh -huh. That's petrified wood. See that? That's petrified wood. Do you know what petrified wood means? Oh, look. It's, wood that's, it. it's wood that's turned into rock. This used to be a piece of wood, now it's rock. Isn't that interesting? How does that happen? It, it, uh, the over time, water? yeah, the minerals, um, cause it to turn into rock. And it's, uh, it petra oh, yeah. is the Latin word for rock. Oh, okay. You want the big one? This is freaking sweet. Okay. See, there's a big school. Kids, we found a big school over here. Amazing. Okay. Right. You want to try to get them? All right, there they are. Right there. They're all swimming out. Here. The best way to get them would be right here. Right here. All right, let's see if we caught some. Oh, there's a bunch of them. See? Look at all those minnows. Now let's put them back in the net, because we want to put them back into the water, okay? Here. Let's put them all back into the net. Pick them all up and put them back in the net.
there's lots of different sizes of minnows in here. Now, we, we don't have very much time, so we need to hurry. So what we're going to do is we're going to put them back in the net. Here, put them in here. Let them go. There we go. Now, we're going to put them into the big net, and then we're going to just set it in the water so they can swim around, but we can still look at them. There they are. See that? You see that, kids? Now they can breathe, and they're in the water. Look at that. Now can I hold them? Okay, see that? Isn't that interesting? Look at them. May you... Maybe you can... Mm -hmm. Now, you don't want to touch them too much because they have special slime that's on their body, kids. And whenever you remove that slime, they get exposed to the dangerous elements that are in the water. That's how they protect See? themselves, just like you have your See, skin that protects around. yourself. Isn't that cool? Now, you can eat minnows. Did you know that? But, yeah, I see them flopping but around. But we don't want to eat these minnows because, like, like I was talking about earlier, we only want to cook them and eat them. Well, we wouldn't even want to cook them because uh, cooking them helps to get rid of the bacteria. But there's more than just bacteria in this water. There's actually dangerous toxins that get into the rivers because it's so close to, to city, the city. And, and look, there's trash and stuff all over the place. And those toxins, they run off the road like oil. Uh, it runs off of the road and gets into the streams and the rivers. That's why it's really important to be careful what you pour down the drain, like chemicals and stuff like that. We don't want to pour that stuff Can down I the drain at our way? house because it ends up in the creeks and the rivers. Let's let him go now. You want to let him go? All right, kids, mm -hmm. we're going to let these fish go. Swim away, little guys. And look, they're not even scared. They just sit there. They want to sit there. Mm -hmm. I bet they, they want to sit look, We pick them up, and they're still in there. They didn't even swim out. <laughs> Well, let's see if they swim at this time. There they go. They got comfortable. This water is kind of murky. All right, kids, we're going to look underwater and see if you can see what it looks like in this underwater world. There's a bunch of fish over here, and if we look down here, we can see them. Let's be really quiet, okay? Slip down into the water. Is that cool or what? Underwater is really neat. You can find these fish, they're perch and bass and minnows in any creek and in any river really, pretty much wherever you live. So go out and visit these creeks and rivers. Look at that beetle, it's such, look at that bright green color. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh look, yeah, like it's a mushroom. mushroom. Yeah, look at oh, this. And there's two centipedes. And two centipedes. Kids, there is all kinds of awesome stuff everywhere. Wherever you look, there's bound to be something cool to, to experience there. Let me see if I can hold this beetle. Look at that bright green color. Isn't that amazing? That is so cool. Man, and look yeah. at that centipede. You know, kids, most insects don't hurt you, but you got to be careful that not to pick up insects that you find if you don't really know whether or not they can hurt you. This beetle, um, I can tell just by looking at him, he can't, and his, he doesn't have any large jaws or anything like that. But no matter what, always ask your parents before you go picking up insects, because they can be um, venomous and they can bite you, or poisonous. Dude. See? Oh, look, look, there's a, there's a mushroom and a tire, and then a piece of trash right there. Isn't that, a, and then a dead log right here. Interesting mixture of, of nature and trash. Let's see, hold on. Oh, wow, there's a bunch under that log. Kids. Big logs and trees, they're perfect places for fish to hide. They like having places to hide. So we're going to go on over there and have a look at a big log that has fish underneath it, okay? Come on, let's go. Now be careful because there are also snakes here. And they like to hide in the logs and the trees too because they like to surprise the fish and catch them. Look at that. See that right there? There's a big drum. It's a That's a barrel right there. See that metal barrel? That metal barrel right there, see that kids? That's a perfect place for fish and snakes and all kinds of aquatic creatures to hide. Okay, let's see here. Let's see, oh, this is slippery up here. Look kids, right here, see those little paw prints? 
Those are paw prints from raccoons. Yeah, look at there's that. There's a frog. Oh, there's a frog. He hopped into the water. <laughs> okay, we're going to walk along this log right here. Just be very careful. Keep your balance. You got it, Axel? Yeah. Doing good. Take my hand. It's always better with two people, right? We can use teamwork to help each other. Always remember that, kids. The kids are going to go underwater. We can't see anything, but maybe the kids can. Tell me what you see, okay? See any fish? Okay. We'll find out later, okay? All right, kids. Ashley's gonna help me. We're gonna catch the fish. They they get we chase them to that narrow area. There you go. Walk through. Keep going. Right. Now they swam back. I got one. A bait? No, it's just a minnow. It's a small minnow. Here, we'll we'll just hold it for a second. Can I Look how shiny his coat. Oh, let's be careful. Now don't 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 feel him too much. Just kind of hold him in your hand. Okay, there you go. All right. See see. Look at his eyes. Isn't that cool? All right. We better hurry up and let him go because we don't want him to. We don't want him to be able to swim away. All right. Swim away, little minnow. Swim him swim away. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. He's swimming away. Oh, <laughs> he's gone. Isn't that cool? We got to catch him and see him, but then we just let him go so he can grow up. All right, kids, look, we found something really cool. Golf balls. This creek, a lot of times golf courses are built on creeks. And the water runs through the golf course as sort of a natural obstacle and it makes it look pretty. But what ends up happening is people hit their balls into the water. And they don't go get them because they don't want to go swimming while they're golfing. So, well, some of them do. <laughs> So they wash down the creek and they end up here. You can use these to play games and fun stuff like that. Are we going to use these to play games with? Maybe we can throw them at an obstacle, like throw, try to get them into a bucket or something. Or we can make our own golf games. So you found an old plate, a piece of an old plate, ceramic. See that, kids? And a then can. we found an old Coke can. Yeah, look and at that. And some Target, I think. Yeah, I probably bought it from a store. That's a pretty old one, though. Mm. And then... We also found a oyster shell. And now, we Axel, also found this. And a golf ball. So Axel, these are very interesting items. Let's see where they um, came from. Where do you think the golf ball came from? A uh, golf course. A golf course, yes, and it washed down here. Now where do you think the can came from? It looks like it got smushed by a car maybe. Maybe somebody threw it out their window while they were driving. You think so maybe? Maybe it's... And the rain washed it down into the creek? And then this plate, how do you think that happened? Maybe someone threw it out of their car because yeah. maybe they were like, I'm just sneaking through my mm -hmm. out of the car. Yeah, maybe someone was, uh, oh, you want to sneak in <laughs> like you do. Well, you, you know, maybe someone was trying to get rid of a bunch of old trash and they threw the trash away near the creek and then it got washed down. That's not good, is it? This is all littering, right? Uh -huh. but, but guess what this is? What? It's an oyster cell. This, did you know that Texas used to be the bed of an ocean? Yeah, it used to be underwater. And there were lots of oysters. And kids, the oysters, th their shells fossilized, turned into rock. That's really interesting. All of this used to be the bottom of an ocean. Isn't and that cool? And a long, long time ago, this whole world used to be just a sea. All right, kids. Well, we'll see you later. But you guys get out and have your own adventure in nature. There's probably a creek or a river or a lake or a pond nearby you. And ask your parents if you could go there and explore it sometime and look at the wildlife there. But get out. Have your own adventure. Don't just watch our shows, okay? We'll see you later. Bye. Say bye, Axel. No. Let me have that spider. Oh, okay. <laughs> kids, Axel's too busy catching a spider. So... He'll see you in another episode, okay? Say bye, bye. kids.